Here are the tools that are used to apply the flex kit through a keyhole. They are all available from PLCS. And here are the components of the kit. This is the primer applicator system. The sponge mop is placed in the plastic dish and the primer is poured over it. The excess primer ends up in the dish and is then mopped up by the sponge. We have placed the belt joint in a plywood box to simulate a keyhole excavation and the operator is standing about four feet above the joint. One wipe of the mop primes the face of the bell and a few inches of the spigot. The mold is attached to the PVC fill tube and lowered down onto the bell. There is a cutout at the back of the neck which locates the mold on top of the front of the face of the bell. The primer applicator handle is placed on the back of the loop on the steel clamp to hold it down. And then the bolt is picked up by the two pronged hook and dropped into place. You can see this more clearly on the front clamp. And the mold is tapped back up to the face of the bell. We can show this again from the side so that you can more clearly see exactly what takes place. If it doesn't quite drop into place, just give it a tap. You can pull the mold into place by using the tabs as shown. The clamps are tightened by using a right angled air wrench attached to a long handle and operated from the road surface. Experience will tell you when the clamps are tight enough. You will hear the air wrench start to slow down. Don't over tighten, it isn't necessary. The hook is pulling the loop out at the same time in order to make sure that the overlap is not creased. This is very important. This is a view down the neck showing its position on the front of the face of the bell. Many times the operator will simply reach down inside the hole and pour the sealant in the mold freehand. Or you can pour the sealant down the fill tube that was used to install the mold. After using the fill tube, place it in the truck overnight and then peel the sealant off in one piece in order to reuse the tube. You should purchase enough fill tubes to last you a complete day of encapsulating. They are very inexpensive. Fill the mold right to the top of the neck. The cap has an adhesive strip which is used to fasten it to the hook and the piston is a perfect fit inside the neck. Pushing the cap on pressurizes the sealant and then the hook is twisted off. And that's it. The Flex Kit Keyhole Encapsulation System takes just under four minutes to complete.